Hello and uh, welcome to the following part of the view Firebase connection. Uh, we will now uh, proceed with uh, including uh, view view uh, using view fire to connect our views uh, web page uh, with the Firebase project we already created. You will see that there are some well there are, there are here that we won't see much uh, information, but we can uh, we can look at the following section to work with. Remember, looks like, uh, in, honestly, when I worked with Viewfire, they didn't have UX Fire. I believe UX is a, probably another way of using View. It's probably also ready for, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's newer. Uh, let's see, uh, with the best way of knowing if, if something new is, 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 there is something new which is good to be used, is uh, looking at the documentation it has uh, and the date of updates. You can see there was an update 14 years ago. So we can see that there is not much difference. Uh, reason view X for view X, which is, I'm not sure what it is view X. Uh, centralized state management for view. Okay. so. This is not exactly what we are going to need, so I'm not going to use for now UX. If we see that there is an attractive use for UX, we may we will use it. Okay, so let's go back and let's look at View Fire, and let's see how we can proceed with installation. We are using npm. Never forget that we're using Node Node.js. So first thing first, we will install install the the View Fire component in our uh, Node.js. A framework or a system to allow us to to import the view fire into our project. Remember that once it's it's installed, well, you can reuse it in all your uh, view projects to connect with a view fire with Firebase to different projects, with different different backside projects. Okay, so let's keep, uh, wait until it finish installing. It's going to install all the necessary components and packages and it's ready to use. So the following part is now start uh, including uh, Firebase into our uh, project itself, okay? So first of all, I need to uh, mention that we will use the Firestore option, okay? Because it's newer, it's much newer. You can find, uh, when you if you search for Firebase and view in the internet, you will see two options, the real-time database and the Firestore uh, option. I always recommend the Firestore option mainly because it's the new way of representing it. And if I'm not mistaken, sooner or later, real-time database will become obsolete, and it's not a good idea to work in an op in a in a system that will soon be obsolete. So now we are ready, ready to work with a, a view Firebase. And uh, the examples that we see here are not very, very good. Let's see if I can find a better example somewhere else. But personally, it's not as interesting as I want. So there is an example here that we will work on. But obviously, we can search for more examples in the, um, uh, in the web. Okay, But uh, for now, we're going to use this simple example. Uh, in the future, uh, we, we may look, we will search for a way to define uh, the configurations and the component itself. Uh, for example, this one, this one, the Firebase initialization, we may do it outside of the in a, in a basic. We'll do it right now, so don't worry. But in a in a in the globalized uh, file. Okay, so let's move this to the left. Let's make it smaller. Okay, here we go. Perfect. We go back to our code and we go to the app view section because I want to define this uh, configuration in the app view so I don't have to do it in every single file or component that I want to use. Okay, it's very important because mainly I'm interested in, um, in, in defining these things from the beginning, no more than just putting it right here. Okay, uh, if I'm not mistaken, doing this should be enough. Uh, to execute uh, the element. Now it's telling me that it's expected. Uh, 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 
or maybe maybe I hope this works if it's not if it doesn't work we'll look into it later or just put it in here yeah here sorry so um obviously soon it will tell me that it fails because it doesn't have the firebase import um to import firebase we will have to do this but importing it using uh, up here and remember we're working in the app that view and there will be firebase and that's it from view fire okay let's hope now it works it may not work but oh, it's not showing uh, much problems it's showing some kind i'm not sure if that's the last uh, uh let's see yeah it's showing a problem because firebase were not found in view fire great um let me look into it and i'll be back to you Hi, so uh, after checking it out, I finally found out what, how we have to, uh, what I, what was missing. Um, we will uh, import the Firebase from Firebase, not from View Fire, okay? Um, later on, we will initialize uh, the Firebase component globally. I remind you that Firebase itself is a is, is a it's a global constant signed on tone uh, component which is always active in memory once we load it here it is equal it say it's the same everywhere so once we initialize it, it it stays initialized until we close the app or the session ends and it has to regain the session and we in this line here export constant constant we will, uh, for example, export the access to the database. Okay, for example, the database. Uh, by the way, here it's not. Yeah, and before that, we have to define, as you see here, a constant for uh, that will fire uh, up like this. Uh, what it will return is a reference to Firebase app. Okay, which in 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 our case it will be a reference to this app here, to this project here. And later on, what we're going to do, I'm not sure why it's closed here, but what we'll do is decide which elements here we want to use. We can put multiple elements. For example, if you want to use the database, we'll export the database. What we're going to, what it interests us is to export the data store, okay? Or the, the, store, the fire store or the authentication. So we're going to create an export. We're going to export a constant variable that will be used everywhere out equals to firebase app dot uh, out for example like this like this like this okay and if everything works well it should no problem here and perfect the only problem is that my app key app domain and and uh, and database url is still not updated this is the one i copied from the internet so how what's the last step i have to do i have to do go to my project here in the in the firebase yeah and look up the config information here that we created before remember in the settings of the of the of the project and we have here the necessary information to connect to the uh, project okay uh, the house domain and the database url which are the basic necessary uh, configuration. Now, if you want to add all of them, you can add all of them, by the way, because this config file is, is really the same, okay? Um, we can even change the name, we can do this. Just copy completely this, put all of it here. And uh, we don't forget that because the config file changed name, you can copy this and put it, we have to put it here like this, okay? So now, each time the app starts, it connects automatically to the Firebase, uh, to the Firebase side here, and we can start working on it. Okay. Um, what else we will do in the explanation here? If we want to use, uh, for example, the element that we just defined here in a different component, different places of the components, we just have to import them. Yeah. Uh, Fine. The thing is that, okay, uh, they created a file called Firebase GS, 
okay? And then it is pointing it from different positions. Uh, let's well, let's do that. We have to, we will create a component. Um, the problem with doing that, is that we have to sh be sure to know where is the root of that com of that thing, okay, of the component place. Uh, fine. Let's let's create a, 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 a folder with we're gonna call it. Okay, it's not creating the folder. Very nice. Sorry. Okay. Um, let's call it Firebase, and inside Firebase we'll create a file called Firebase. That GS, okay. It's the file we'll use to import in different sections, right? And as you can see, uh, well, in the main GS, they are uh, doing all the configuration. Yes, uh, we import the Firebase element, and then uh, at the, because it's importing it in the Firebase here, it defines the elements as global, okay. Um, well, it's, we can do that too. Uh, let's do it here. Uh, uh -oh. Okay, we have to Firebase app equals to Firebase that initialize app. Uh, sorry, this is not the this is not the example. Is it the example I was working on? Okay. Um, okay, then this will uh, import. I mean, it doesn't, it, it fails because it, 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 it's missing here. This will copy it from the app section. We have to put this information there and it should work with this. Let's go to the Firebase, which is going to take this out and put it right here. Okay. It's the same thing. Now it's working. We have, instead of calling it in the app section, we're not going to call it here anymore. We'll do exactly how they show it there in the main GS down here. Okay. In the main GS, it's very important to put it in the main GS. We will call the uh, Firebase element. But remember, it's not here. It's this slash this firebase slash firebase it's very important that we do it right and we find the root well and it's not finding it well very nice let's try to take this out it's still not finding it great uh, comp sorry components slash firebase uh, slash firebase now it's yeah you can see it's fine it okay it's components slash firebase slash firebase automatically once he invokes this import yes it will execute all the code inside this file remember the code inside this file is this one here it will connect it's very similar to what we did before and we will be connected to firebase okay great um now we are, for example, interested in in using it in a certain component, let's say an intro. Okay, uh, in the following, in the last part of this tutorial, I will show you how to use it to use this option in different positions of uh, the app of the components.